The History of Mount Moriah Baptist Church, Part 2. On Sunday, July 8, 1962, the Reverend Robert Gilmore Williams, Sr., wife Doris, of Petersburg, Virginia, was installed as the fourth pastor of Mount Moriah. Much was accomplished under Reverend Williams' pastorate. He instituted a five-year program which encompassed a broad-based emphasis on spiritual growth, individual commitment, and stewardship. Many improvements were made to the church facility and to the musical program of the church. Reverend Williams had a vision for Mount Moriah's future. Part of that vision was to have the church purchase surrounding properties in the neighborhood. During his pastorate, we purchased four additional properties and a parsonage for the first family. Before his home going, all properties were mortgage free. Other parts of his vision were evidenced in his expansion and renovation program. Included in this program, along with other major projects, was the construction of a balcony to increase the seating capacity in the sanctuary, a renovated prayer chapel, and outside ramps for the physically challenged. Reverend Williams instituted the Together We Build program to raise funds for the expansion and renovation projects. Reverend Williams' 25 years of faithful and untiring service to Mount Moriah ended on October 7, 1987, when God called him to his heavenly home. In late 1987, Reverend Dr. Edward A. Hale Sr. was asked to serve as interim pastor. His administration was so impressive that it led to his installation as the fifth pastor on Sunday, October 23, 1988. During Dr. Hale's pastorate, the venture in faith debt was liquidated and additional ministries were formed such as the evangelism ministry, prison ministry, alcohol abuse program, and the Edward A. Hales Senior Scholarship Fund. Dr. Hales was a dynamic champion for youth, and he gave them many opportunities to participate in church activities, including speaking from the pulpit on fifth Sundays. He spent time counseling our youth, and was always willing to help them in any way he could, especially in education. He was one of the largest contributors to the scholarship fund, which, is, which was established to provide funding for the purchase of textbooks and supplies for graduating seniors seeking a post-secondary education. It was Dr. Hales who instituted the practice of Shake Your Neighbor's Hand during our morning worship service in 1987, Dr. Hales retired for health reasons. He was later named Pastor Emeritus and served in this capacity until January 9, 2006, when he answered the call to come home and rest. God sent us our next and current shepherd, Reverend Dr. Lucius M. Dalton of Madison Heights, Virginia. On New Year's Eve, 1999, Reverend Dr. Lucius M. Dalton ushered in the new millennium for the Mount Moriah Congregation as our sixth pastor. He was installed on Sunday, March 19, 2000. When Pastor Dalton came to us, the late Margaret Washington said, quote, He is like a young Joshua, already highly experienced and the pastorate, and quite capable of pursuing his ministry here." Unquote. After he observed Mount Moriah for one full year, Pastor Dalton proceeded to provide the church with his spiritual vision of growth, which included a focus on the youth and senior adults of the church. He reminded the membership that God loves a cheerful giver, and that through the spirit of giving, Mount Moriah would grow and become self-supporting. In 2002, God led Mount Moriah to commit as a congregation 
to developing a mind like Christ. That commitment resulted in Pastor Dalton publishing two books, Doing What God Requires and The Lord Will Provide. He preached a seven-sermon series in 2010 from The Lord Will Provide to commemorate the church's 125th anniversary. Pastor Dalton licensed and ordained the first female minister of our church, the late Reverend Janelle Thompson. As pastor, he installed the first two female deacons of the church, Deacon Geneva Green and Deacon Sandra Kilgore. Pastor Dalton is a strong advocate of missionary work. As a result, shoes and sewing machines were sent to Uganda, Africa, and funds were provided for a water well in India. During Hurricane Katrina, the church participated in providing finances, shelter, and clothing. We regularly send teaching resources to Africa for Christian education and continues to be a strong supporter of Lock Carey Foreign Missions, the District of Columbia Baptist Church Convention, and the Capitol Hill Group Ministries. In our surrounding community, the church annually provides school supplies and assistance to the students of Payne Elementary School and partners with Elliott Hine Middle School and Eastern High School as a part of our daily outreach efforts. For the past 20 years, Pastor Dalton has brought to us the Word of God, and under his pastorate, many improvements have been made and continue to be made to the worship experience and the church facility. He encourages the participation of our youth, young adults, and seniors by promoting weekly worship experiences that are intergenerational. Youth are appointed to ministries and committees to encourage their involvement, contributions, and knowledge. Pastor Dalton reconstructed Children's Church, which serve as an age-appropriate worship environment for youth ages nine and younger. He has refocused the spiritual lives of our congregation through weekly Bible study, Sunday church school, and leadership workshops, four to six week sessions during March and April annually. Each year of his pastorate has begun with a new church theme intended to guide and focus our work in God's vineyard. Pastor Dalton says that vision is not just the finish line, it is the whole race. It is a picture of what God wants us to do. The spiritual target of Mount Moriah Baptist Church is the unchurched, the uncommitted, the unevangelized, and the unreached. He was led to design a six-point strategy to guide Mount Moriah in realizing the vision given by the Holy Spirit, the Mount Moriah plan, meaning manager, outreach, recruitment, involvement, advertisement, and homework. In July 2010, Mount Moriah entered the digital age by erecting a new digital church sign in front of the church. In 2011 through 2012, a new sound booth was built with LED monitors, video cameras, and DVD recording equipment were installed in the sanctuary, as well as LED monitors in the children's area, the Laura Auditorium, and the prayer room. In 2013, God gave Pastor Dalton vision to institute a daily prayer line. He states, the prayer line is probably the most important thing I as a pastor have done during my tenure in Mount Moriah. We cannot not pray. Under Pastor Dalton's leadership, Mount Moriah Baptist Church continues to be a beacon light serving the community of the nation's capital for 135 years as we grow loving like Christ loves.